Okay, this is the Rangers Group 7. This milestone deals with group, individual, and strategic planning. This is a, re a rehearsal video. And this is a Principles of Management production for Finger, Ma Finger Puppet Management TV. And we'll call this hashtag all in one take. Gentlemen, the time has come for the final knockout punch of the Nazis. Let us not forget how it has come to this, and it shall be our finest hour. Why are we here? What have we done, and what can we do? We have all suffered losses against Nazi expansion. They stand as an existential threat to the nations we all represent. Encroachment on Soviet nations and His Majesty's Island are unacceptable. The reign of terror bestowed by the fascist invaders must be stopped. We could sue for peace, accept Nazi defeat and the Nazi ideals, or fight Hitler head on. Appeasement hasn't stopped Hitler's expansion, and he doesn't honor treaties. Unconditional surrender of Germany and the fascist Nazis is the only method. We couldn't strike at the heart first. So we eliminated his flanks by reclaiming North Africa and much of Italy. The Soviets have reclaimed much of their own territory and pushes the Germans from the east. We now see that German nations can cooperate against one. Our greatest strength is in our numbers. Our men and supplies can be replenished quickly without losing what we gain. Our combined intelligence gathering gives us insight on German deployments, morale, and coded messages get deciphered. Where we fall short is that our men are not as battle-tested. Hitler's army is well-trained and has been fighting since they started the war. When the Germans retreat, they'll likely destroy everything to leave us nothing. We must be self-sufficient with supplies from here until Berlin. Last, our amphibious assault on the beach will be practical, but very costly. General Marshall is right. The amphibious assault, though dangerous and risky, is the only practical means to which land enough men and supplies on the beach. Fortunately, the invasion is set on June 6th, a day that brings an unusually high tide. This gives our men less distance to sprint between the landing craft and the bunkers fired upon them. I hate to be Debbie Downer, Monty, but at Rommel's Atlantic Wall stretches along the coast from Denmark to Spain and consists of mines, bunkers, and barbed wire. If the last war with Germany has taught us anything, it should be that the Germans have a knack for defensive war. And now, with the war turning in our favor on the Eastern Front, Hitler cannot commit a full force to repel our landing. Our landing zone will be the beaches of Normandy, right across the English Channel from England itself. This will be a cross-functional event that encompasses our Navy, our Air Forces, and our armies. There are a few small towns in Normandy that the Germans have occupied and we know of two bridges that link the rest of France to Normandy. The German deployments are along the beach with reinforcements along the way. Twelve hours before the landing we will have paratroopers landing behind the enemy lines and secure key intersections on the roads to cut off German reinforcements. It should also be noted that the English are going to be landing a commando unit to scale the cliffs where the Germans are least defended. They will link up with the airborne and cut off key intersections also to cut their left flank off. I see that the Americans are taking the biggest chunk of this. Well, I told Monty that the Americans are going to end up taking a big bite of this because we're coming in the game late. I must warn you, do not go into this overconfident. A lot of time has gone into these plans, but they are not perfect. Our adversary has framed his strategy on the grand army that he started the war with. He takes omens for randomness of events that surround it. And his Nazi ideology is based on selective perception of Aryan supremacy and the seeking out of specific instances for confirmation. 
If we do not put everything we have behind D-Day, hindsight will not be kind to us, and there will be no rectifying of sunk costs. The rationality of our strategic mission plans cannot account for accounting for the irrationality of our enemy or ourselves. Machines malfunction, and our enemy may crumble, or they may fight for every inch of ground. As leaders, we are bounded we are limited to our bounded rationality. Remember that our men must and will be sacrificed to benefit the lives of countless others. Separate yourselves from these conditions and do not give in to immediate gratification that falls into the enemy's traps. Tell the men down the ranks to use a combination of their training and their damned guts when they're in the field. Meeting adjourned.